Good morning, everybody. Have you ever wondered what makes a good photo versus a bad photo? Or sometimes, you know, you've looked at a photo and you go, man, uh, something is just a little off. Well, today what we're gonna go ahead and do is look at some photos and I'm gonna go over what it made the photo good or bad or what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it. And then you take that and you put your own little spin on it and then you go out and try some images yourself and see what you like and what you don't like so that you can get your photos looking the way that you would like them to look. So without further ado, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at this first picture. This is a brown, pelican i got i took this uh this was back a few months ago before my surgery guys um over at lake penoskovsky and as you can see basically the pelican is smack dab in the middle of the frame the other thing is is the pelican's eye you can barely see it he's actually looking away from us and so it's like he just doesn't want his photo being taken now what I do like about this particular image is the fact that we have this nice blur along the top and the nice little blur on the bottom. So you got a little bit of bokeh going on. But that's about all I like on that particular photo. Now let's go ahead and look at this one. I like this one a lot better. First off, I can see the pelican's eye. The second thing is I'm using the rule of thirds. So his backside is in line with the rule of thirds and his eye is on that top rule of thirds line as well you have the nice bokeh along the top you also have that nice bokeh along the on the bottom as well and he's just kind of sitting there chilling out looking right at the camera so i think overall that that looks that looks pretty good the one thing that i would note about this particular photo is that over here on the back side, because he's two different colors, he's got that beautiful white uh, plumage on his on his on the back of his head, and then he's a little bit got more color and darker colors uh, towards the front of his face. Um, so what happened here was is the sun was coming from behind him almost, hitting his head. So he's a little bit overexposed there and that is the only thing that i really don't particularly care about when you look at this particular photograph this next image i really like it because one it's an action shot this pelican is taking off it's also i'm in pretty tight on this particular pelican with with my shot um, so you aren't getting a lot of distraction so you have a very simplistic shot you just have the water and the pelican so we you know where your focus is you can see this pelican's eyes he's taking off you see that water kind of splashing around you got that nice bokeh up on the top and you also have that nice bokeh on the bottom now if i were to go ahead and say oh, what do i not like about this particular photo it would be the fact <laughs> that on the back of the head once again what did i do i overexposed on this pelican's head the 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 lighting is coming from behind and that actually gives you a nice a little bit of rim lighting if you look at the wing here on the as you're looking at it it would be your left hand side you'll notice that there is a little bit of rim lighting right there and also in the back of the wings you can see a little bit of rim lighting there and also along the tail um, which gives it some dimension there which is really cool but if I were to say, hmm, one of the things that I don't like, like I mentioned, is the fact that the head is overexposed and his eye is a little bit dark there. So if I were to critique it and say, what do I need to fix on it? I would say that. But what I did was, is I went into post-production and that picture that you just saw was edited, but now I'm gonna show you another picture and what I did was, is I tried to recover a little bit of those highlights. And as you can see, it really is hard to recover blown out highlights. Um, it's always better to underexpose than to overexpose because once you overexpose, you really can't pull 
you know, the, those blown out highlights. Um, if you do go super, 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 super dark, it's really hard to pull back the shadows too, but it's easier for our eyes to be okay with the darkness over the blown out highlight, if that makes any sense. Um, so I did go ahead and I tried to bring out some of the details in the cap, the back cap of his head. And then also what I did is I went ahead and brightened up the eye and brightened up the, the black that was around his eye. Um, so that that way it would pop a little bit more and you could see his eye a little bit more. So here is image one without the extra editing done. It was edited, but without me touching the cap or his eye, this is the picture with the cap being touched and the eye being touched. It is very subtle, but I figured just a little bit of a tweak so that you could see a little bit more detail. If you have any questions, please go ahead and drop them in the comment section below. I want to say thank you so much for tuning in today. Let me know which photo was your favorite photo. And I want to say thank you so much for tuning in today. You are awesome. Have a wonderful rest of your week. See you later, alligator.